Andrew Gill for WBEZ here at the Ryder Cup. I just got through the main gates. I had to surrender my backpack, it was too large, so they checked it for me. But I'm here right by the gates. Everyone is walking in and taking photos immediately. It's quite a view. Um, there's the backdrop, big signs, a uh, lot of red, white, and blue clothing. This is one of the sideshow attractions at the Ryder Cup. A chance to hit a hole in one for a Mercedes Benz. Let's see some folks trying. It's a par three hole. There's the line to sign up, and there's the Mercedes you can win. This is the status board. It shows where um, particular golfers are golfing right now. It's right by the main entrance, so as soon as you walk in, you can figure out where the people you want to see are at, so you can go to those holes. And right next to it, there's a radio rental booth, or maybe purchase. Um, they have a serious feed of BBC coverage as well as PGA coverage of the Ryder Cup that you can listen to as you walk around the grounds. So this is the Ryder Cup Plaza. It's kind of like the midway of the Ryder Cup where there's places to get your swing analyzed. Back behind me, the uh, player challenge. Um, there's a golf shop where you can buy all kinds of gear and ship it back home. Um, and then there's also uh, bars and restaurants back there with the uh, Bar Toma, the Chicago restaurant with the big outpost over there. So yeah, this is where you could go if you're not watching golf. It can be as sweet and passionate as your lover on a warm summer night. So behind me are the Ryder Cup equivalent of uh, skyboxes. These are like corporate villages. Um, they're little huts with uh, air conditioning, uh, who knows what food and bar inside. It's a handful of these scattered all throughout the uh, entire course. Probably uh, 30 different huts. Who knows how much uh, they cost to buy, but uh, interesting side note. Also, right here by the 18th green, which is uh, there behind me. Um, players come through and dip in, practice rounds, hitting, uh, hitting in there. So the crowd will form as, a, as players come through. That's it, the uh, Ryder Cup practice round, uh, Thursday. It was pretty good uh, use of money. It was uh, only about $54 total. We got uh, lunch, got to see Justin Timberlake rehearsing, I got to see Rory McElroy signing autographs. And it was not so much like Wrigley Field, but more like a Ravinia or a theme park. Just kind of walking around. 
uh, moseying around and occasionally seeing people with golf clubs hitting little white balls. Uh, pretty, pretty good day, so if it comes back, I think I'm on board for another day. The jokes, the laughter, the razzing and ribbing, the humbleness and the handshakes, the beers and the tears.